Lesson 13.2 is about angles and the unit circle. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify coterminal angles and find exact values of sine and cosine for certain given angles within the unit circle. To begin with, we need to identif identify some terms. So um, we're going to measure angles in the coordinate plane, and so you need to understand standard position. Standard position would be an angle that begins here on the x-axis. So the x-axis would be called the initial side. And the angle would open in a counterclockwise direction. And the po point where it ends is called the terminal side. The angle that's formed in here is usually given the letter theta. This is a Greek letter. Theta is almost always used in conjunction with angle measures. And this angle in here would be called the central angle. So that would be standard position. So anything that opens in this direction would be a positive direction. If it opens in the other direction, it would be a negative direction. So let's measure some angles. So this first example, example A, starting on the x-axis, ending on the y-axis, this would be a 90 degree angle. Since it's opening counterclockwise, that would make it a positive angle measure. In the second example, they give us this point, 2, 2, so that we will understand that this angle here is a 45 degree angle. So if that's 45, then this one is also 45 degrees. And we know this side is 90 degrees, so if we add the 90 plus the 45, we get 135 degrees. The thing is, it opens counterclockwise. That makes it a negative angle measure. In our third example, it's called example C, we're ending in exactly the same place as example B, so that makes angle C coterminal with angle B because the terminal side is in the same location. The measure on angle C, though, is going to be 90 plus another 90, brings us up to 180, plus the 45 down here. So 180 plus 45 gives us a 225 degree angle measure, and it's going in a positive direction, so that makes it a positive 225. Okay, next we're going to sketch some angles. So uh, if we're going to sketch a 36 degree angle, it's positive. So we'll start with the initial side here. We're going to open in the counterclockwise direction, and we want it to be 36 degrees. So if we know all this way straight up is 90 degrees, 36 is going to be a little bit more than one third of the way. So right about there, you can say that's a 36 degree angle. Okay, 215 degree angle is going to go starting at the initial side here. It's going to open counterclockwise. It's going to go through 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and then we have 45 more degrees to finish it off. So it's going to be right about there. So this is 180, 270, plus another 45 degrees. So this is be our 315 degree angle. Last we have a negative 150. So again, we'll start in the initial position of the x-axis. Since it's negative, we're going backwards. And so going in this direction, we're going to go through 90 degrees. And then we still have 60 degrees more, so that's two-thirds of the way. So right about there is a negative 150. Okay. Okay, next we're looking at coterminal angles. Which of the following angles is not coterminal with the other three? So if we start with a 300 degree angle, we know we've got 90, 180, 270, plus another 30. So right about there, that's going to be our 300 degree angle. If we go negative 60, 
that's going to be in this direction. And so that's negative 60. That's coterminal with positive 300. So positive 60 would go, starting from our initial position, it's going to go this way. It's going to end right about here. So we can see that 60 degrees is not coterminal with 300 and negative 60. How about the 240? If we're doing 240, we're going to start in um, standard position. We'll go 90, 180, 270, 360. If we continue, oh, we're going backwards though. Okay, going backwards would be 90, 180, 270, 360, and then we still have 60 degrees more, so that ends us right here in exactly the same position. So negative 420 is coterminal with 300 and negative 60. Okay, another example. <clears throat> Whoops, went too far. Which of these angles are coterminal? So if we do a negative 315, that's going to be going backwards. We have 90, 180, 270, and another 45 here. So that's negative 315. Positive 45 would be right there. So those are coterminal. Positive 315 is going to start from the x-axis. We would come around 90, 180, 270, and we would end right there. So this is positive 315 degrees. This one is not coterminal with the rest. Okay, let's check the 405 just to be sure. So 405 degrees is going to go 90, 180, 270, 360, plus another 45 will get us to the same position as the first two. And that's the end of this first half. We will pick up with the unit circle on the second half.